Hey guys, and how about we play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Red Rescue Team? So something is different, right? Well, not to get your hopes up, I'm not going to be playing as Snickers, but if you remember Snickers, then you should love Snickers, because Snickers was quite lovable. However, I know that a lot of you want to see evolution, um, at least for the process, I want to see it as well. Um, I'm very curious about how they do it in this game, and so we're going to evolve Leo Snickers! Um, I do think the Zigzagoon is cuter than Linoon, but that's okay. A voice emanates from somewhere. Ye who seek awakening, this is Luminous Cave. I am not the narrator. Do you seek, or do ye seek a new evolution? Evolve. Will ye give an item for, why is it saying ye? No. Ye who seek awakening, let us begin. Da da da. Snickers is undergoing changes. Snickers' appearance changed! That's it! It evolved from Zigzagoon to Linoon. Ye shall return if evolution is what ye seek. Ah. Oh. Well, there you have it. That was evolution. Frankly, I thought it would be cooler than that. I mean, like, in the you know, Pokemon Red version, you know, Ruby version, whatever, the actual versions, sure, the evolutions are kind of simple, where it's just like, it shows them spinning or flashing or something, and a little music plays. But at least then, you get some anticipation. This one is just kind of like, he evolved, per se. Oh, he's different. Hmm. But there you have it, so there is Snickers evolving into a big old Linoon. Now I'm going to go find Riz again. Where is that delightful little mudkip? There he is, okay. So we're just going to be him, then we're going to take Gengar, and we're going to go to Mount Freeze to meet with Ninetales, because that's what Gengar wants to do. Alright, so I made sure that we were good on Reviver Seeds and all that, so I'm just gonna make sure that he's not actually in here. Uh, ba 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 No. 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 Okay. I assume he just comes with you then, like automatically when you go to Mount Freeze. Here we go. Ha ha ha. All right. So, this one. I think the Gengar is about the last story that's actually in this game, right? If it is, let me know. I know that there are other things like Wish Cave and stuff, but I just want to know if this is the last actual like story kind of thing. So, yeah. You're going to Mount Freeze? Don't forget to take me. Kick it. He's already there like we already brought him that far, it's not like we're gonna ditch him at the entrance of the cave. And only, he waits till then to bring it up too. It's like, what if we were gonna ditch him? Oh, it's a little late, Gengar, sorry, it should've spoken up earlier. That was something I didn't even think about. Since he's a ghost type, he can go over water too. This could make this really helpful. That was not like proper English. I don't actually recall how many floors are on Mount Freeze, but here we are, floor five, here we are, floor six now. So, I know at some point we're going to reach that one kind of midway room where it's all like, you can save, I think, or turn back or whatever. I don't know. But I'm pretty sure that's not too far away. It's like floor 10 or floor 15 or something like that. And then the next bit only has like five floors, I think. Pretty sure the second bit is shorter. So, you know, this is easy so far. Water Gun does like 400 damage to these guys. Or at least it did to one Swablu, then like 200 to other peeps and stuff. So, yeah. Not concerned about dying. Gengar seems really weak, but, you know, as long as I keep an eye on him. And we have plenty of Reviver Seeds. I found one here, and I had, like, four or five with me. So, I'm not concerned about that. So, it's just a matter of getting through. Finally, floor 10, which is not the special place. Okay, so we still have to go a little bit further in order to reach that one midway point. Um, but, yes. So, actually, I was wondering, what exactly do you guys want to see in terms of, like, missions? Um, after the Gengar story because I figure that this whole like this series only has a few more parts to it You know, um, but just because it's running so short I want to know what are you guys actually looking forward to seeing do you want to see the wish cave? You know do you want to see the forest the purity forest or at least an attempt at it because I heard it's ridiculously hard um, If you want to see you know specific missions like that, and it's not directly like with a story um, you gotta let me know in the comments, because otherwise we're gonna be wrapping this series up pretty darn soon, and I wouldn't want you guys to have regrets. 15's not the midway point either! Okay, floor- Alright, floor 16! That's an odd midway point, kind of. At least from what I recall, usually I thought it was like on the five numbered, you know, whatever. But this works, I mean, it's like just as easy. Especially considering we were like spawned in the room with the stairs that last time So now we should only have a few more rooms or floors on this peak And then we find nine tails and I'm assuming it'll be as easy as that I'm assuming we won't have to fight nine tails because last time we didn't right right yeah, so 
Huh, what if we do? It'll be easy if we do, but what if we do? It's like a Snorlax is what it is. Okay, now I'm really rather hoping that we do get to fight Ninetales. I think that would be really rather cool. Like, I would enjoy another boss battle, even if it was super easy, and even if it wasn't against a legendary, it would still give more of a semblance of a story, especially if it were accompanied by a... Uh, you know, say it. Okay, you know. I just got Trap Seer. So what exactly does it do? If the Pokemon is on an undiscovered trap, upon taking a step, it will make the trap visible without setting it off. Oh, that's cool. So that means that... It, well, what does that mean if on an undiscovered trap and then taking a step? Wouldn't it be when you take a step onto an undiscovered trap? Either way, why did I just go up? I want to activate it because that sounds nice. Oh, well that was convenient, just spawning here. Alright, well... Alright, I could... I could have just done the whole ground thing and... Well, there goes a the reviver seed. You better show me nine tails now. Okay, good. Thank goodness for a cutscene. I'm gonna need to press A. <laughs> here at last! We're at the peak! And? Hey, Ninetales! Where are you? Come out! Good, Ninetales. Awesome. <laughs> Long time, Ninetales. Recognize me? Dots, what do you want? <laughs> you want to know what I want? Look at me! Isn't it your fault that I look like this? He looks very attractive for a Shadow Clefable kind of thing. What, you can't even begin by apologizing? It is not my fault. It all arose because you fled, isn't that so? You fled from yourself as a human. And you fled from Gardevoir. It was I who cast the curse. But you became Gengar because you abandoned Gardevoir. Oh, it was Gardevoir that bore my curse, not you. Kih, you're quibbling! Anyway... About that curse. How about lifting it already? You... You have the nerve to ask that? Kih, that's right! Imagine! Me asking anyone for a favor! I'm breaking out in hives at the thought! Turn me down, and I'll KO you! Yeah, like he could. You saw him, he's weak. Anyway... Okay, there we go. Well, it won't be me doing the fighting, but those behind me. As in, me, the Munkip. I'll see this curse lifted, even if it means taking you on! <laughs> I regret to inform, dot, dot dot Even if you could defeat me, the curse would remain. I don't have the power to lift curses. Gege? What are you saying? We Ninetales are known to be vengeful in the extreme. <laughs> Once we cast a curse, it is final. Our curse is so powerful, even we cannot lift it. Hmm. There may be a way, however. I became enraged at your treacherous heart. And on it, I laid my curse. Oh, the curse was laid on a treacherous heart. Gotcha. For that reason, depending on your heart now, the curse may be lifted. Take this with you. Gengar received the Ninetale Crest from Ninetales. I kinda wish I got to fight her, but I won't. Gardevoir's physical form is sealed within the murky cave. The seal can be broken by that stone. But, oh, the nine tail crest I was waiting for, like, but only by a pure heart sort of thing. Okay. Gotcha! We just go to this murky cave and plunk down that rock? And that breaks the seal, so goodbye to the curse! Kick it! How do you like that? It's ridiculously simple! There was a way to live the curse after all! You had me scared! <laughs> Ah, uh, Gengar, you suck. Hey, I kept you waiting. Let's get home. Ke -ke. All right, well, I don't think the Gengar has really changed. Sure, he saved us in the end there, but still. That oaf. He has changed in many ways. But he is wavering. His old and new emotions are clashing within his heart. If he would only realize that upon reaching the murky cave. If he does not... What does that mean? We don't know. <laughs> you did good today. Next, we go to that murky cave place. That sounds like another challenging place, so I'll need your help still. <laughs> of course you will, Gengar, because you are terrible. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Anyway, I think that we have enough time to do murky cave as well. 
Um, and if we don't, then I'll split this here. So, ha! Huh? Did we not split it? Hi! If we did, welcome back. But yes, we're just going to- Oh, did it not? Oh, it did save. Duh. Kiki! Later- I don't even know how to say that. It's the murky cave next. I'll need your help for that. Yes. Kiki! Then we'll go to the murky cave. Gardevoir's physical form. That's where it is. For my sake, Gardevoir. Nah, that's not important. I just feel like going. Kiki! Okay, go there for me. To the murky cave. The okay was actually for me, but Gengar can now tag along with the rescue team. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. The only place I want to go is the murky cave. I'm not about to tag along if you're going to other dungeons. I'll only tag along when you go off to the murky cave, Kiki. Stupid Gengar, stop laughing. Oh, Gengar, he is the most fun to voice, I'm s I can assure you. Okay, so I'm assuming that the murky cave is going to be both longer and more challenging. But maybe not. Let's see if it says I should save. No, so it can't be that difficult. It's just a normal quest thing. You're going to the murky cave? Well, you're already here with me, Gengar. Don't forget to take me, kick it! Oh, Gengar, you're so silly. You silly William. Okay, well, I guess we'll just take these stairs. Okay, so first things first, don't die. Second thing, find out how many floors there are, which really just means complete this considering it's first time thing. Uh, but kind of nervous a little bit about this considering it seems like a pretty big like plot kind of point and of course you know it's only big in terms of like the Gengar plot which is you know post game and everything but post games where you get the hardest stuff so I'm worried that it'll get harder as it goes on that it'll be really long or something else you know treacherous like that um, but I guess we'll have to see. I don't want to get scared over nothing. I'm gonna to try to be conservative with my max elixirs and reviver seeds, of course, you know, uh, and just use it only when I have to. I mean, floor five and nothing big so far. The guys are all small. I can beat most of them with a single nudge. You know, I'm just getting some money along the way where I can and rushing to the stairs as soon as possible. Oh wow, Gengar actually killed something. That was surprising and impressive! Good job, Gengar. I am actually starting to wonder though, considering how easy the guys in here are so far. Like, have I been here before and I'm just forgetting? I mean, the place looks fairly familiar, but a lot of textures, a lot of designs and stuff like that can look the same. Um, just with how many dungeons we've been through, it's hard to say for sure. Um, if I have been here before... Alright, that's cool. I did not know that. Floor 10, Gengar's actually killed a few more people. Uh, mostly like Silcoons, Cascoons. But yeah, these guys aren't that bad. It's cool. As cool as Shep it is, I'm gonna have to say no. Now, a lot of times with Pokemon names, you know, they are like clever about it. And I forget what- I'm not saying Shep it isn't, keep listening. I forget exactly what Shep it was supposed to be like a play on. I know one of them is Puppet, but is it Shadow Puppet or is it like Sheet Puppet? You know, because it looks like a little ghost you'd make out of a sheet or something. So, yeah, just a quick question. For those of you who are unaware, which is everyone that's watching this video, um, just before going up the last set of stairs, so not these ones obviously, but the last ones, um, Gengar died by a crowbat. It friggin' just like swooped in and killed him, and so it was stupid, because yeah, right before the stairs I had to use a Reviver Seat. But, uh, you know, I still think I have... Actually, that's a good question. Let me check how many I have really quick. It's good to know what risks you can take. So, one, two, three, four. I still have four. So I should be good. I mean, again, I have no idea how long this dungeon is, but we're nearing the point where we can at least see if it's like, you know, certain levels, like sometimes 16, apparently, is like a midway point. Um, otherwise, any of the fives, you know, like 20, 25, 45, whatever. Um, 50 is always a good one. Everyone likes 50. And last of all, you have the 100 floor ones, or 99 floor dungeons, which I really hope this is not one of, you know, one of those. But we'll be seeing soon enough what it's not, and then it just becomes a matter of what is it. So it wasn't 16, because we're on 17 now, and now we're on 18, because I don't want to, like, there were two items in the room, and as curious as I am, I don't want to risk fighting a Mr. Risk for the sake of them, just because Gengar sucks. Uh, so... Yeah, Gengar is sadly not at the point anymore where he could actually help me, like, defeat enemies. He's, he's just bad at everything now. So that's one reason I'm definitely afraid of this going on for too long. Because already, you know, Pokemon are too strong for him. 
So if they're just gonna get like stronger and stronger then yeah also, I'm really liking Trap Seer so far, so I do see what the description means now because usually I'll step on it and not notice until Gengar steps on it, you know, walking right behind me. Um, so that's probably why it makes you wait so your partners can still, like, spring the trap and then you still have to worry, you know, at least a little bit. Um, but it's really helpful so far because I don't really care if Gengar gets hit by stuff. You know, it's usually not too bad. So far, it's been like, you know, the poison trap, but he's part poison, so it didn't poison him. There's like the poison spikes, you know. Um, another one, like the, what were they, the chestnuts? You know, they fall, they fell on him, did like 10 damage, whatever. Um, one was that sleep trap or whatever right before the stairs. That was nice. It's just, it's a lot better when I don't personally have to deal with everything. Hey, floor 20! Floor 20 was the end. Well, that was a surprise. I was expecting a midpoint with this, but no, we're just gonna be here. Cool, it only cost me one reviver seed. Kick it! We're here at last! This is it? This is the deepest floor of the murky cave? I was surprised too, Gengar, but I'm, yeah, happy for it. Oh, look! There's a... that thing! A dais? Dais? I don't, I don't remember how to say that. There's a hollow spot! I guess that stone goes in there! Gengar placed the Ninetail Crest in the hollow spot, where he guessed the stone went. Dots. More dots. All the dots. Okay, what's this about? Nothing's happening. We well, haven't realized yet, Gengar. Something you're supposed to realize. Huh? I thought I heard something. Okay, okay. did you just say something? Is he afraid of ghosts? That's odd. I could have sworn I heard something. Nope, you're just crazy. Well, cut. Um. That's kind of weird spacing there. Welcome to Murky Cave! Oh! What? What? Where is that voice coming from? Who are you? I am the Judge of Darkness! You have nothing to fear from me. I mean you no harm. Just now, a key was inserted to break a curse. The curse. It is the one on Gardevoir. See, finally we see where the narrative comes into play. Kick it! Exactly! Please lift the curse now! Now, I guess. Hold on! Oh, totally just had a cough. Just a little bit sick. And Gengar's voice does not help my throat. I cannot allow that right away. I must first know if you've earned the right. I must evaluate you. You must bear your true feelings to me. That's right. Kick it! What? You're going to test me? What, I have to fight some boss creature? Oh no, nothing so barbaric. All that I need is for some questions to be answered. However, dot dot dot. Oh. Kick it? What the? I can't move. Gengar, you will not be doing the answering. Riz. Why will- why? Riz, you will answer. I don't get it, but okay. Is it- is it like questions about Gengar? Cause that doesn't seem fair. Like I can't judge him. I mean I can, but- g g, -g What are you saying? Why is someone else speaking for me? Let me do it! Gengar, shut- Your heart is interwoven with conflicting emotions. You will probably never show the truth within your heart. Kie? What? Riz will enter Gengar's heart. Oh. Please navigate carefully through Gengar's emotions. I'm entering his heart? This is weird. If you fail to draw out Gengar's true feelings, the curse will never be broken. Kie? Hey, Riz! Don't you dare fool around! I'll make you pay for it! You have but one chance. Riz, do your best. Fine. It is time. First of all, why does Gengar wish to break this curse? Well, if you're actually asking me, I assume it's just to win. I don't think he cares about Gardevoir, right? But if the game will listen to me, then I can try to be nice so they, they're they happy again. Maybe being reunited with Gardevoir 
will like strengthen the good side of Gengar, right? Maybe? I don't know. Tell him Gardevoir. It. That's a lie, isn't it? Didn't Gengar abandon Gardevoir long ago? Why would Gengar want to save Gardevoir now? Um. Came to understand Gardevoir, maybe. Because I, don't, I think for taking the curse is a lie, because Gengar only learned that Gardevoir took the curse when we were talking to Ninetales, or at least that's when I look kite, I don't know. Came to understand Gardevoir. Came to understand Gardevoir's feelings? What is it you claim to understand? What do you claim to be? Er, Gardevoir's feelings, yeah. Caring for Gengar. Caring for Gengar. I see. Gardevoir became a presence without a physical form because she bore the curse. But even then, Gardevoir never stopped caring for Gengar. Having learned that, Gengar now wants to save Gardevoir. It makes sense. However, until now, Gengar had forgotten entirely about Gardevoir, correct? But now Gengar wants to save Gardevoir. Isn't that asking a lot? No, it's not asking a lot to want to save a friend. You say that it's not so. You believe that this is o another matter, and to help is only natural? That is what you believe? I understand now. My questions are finished. Did I do it right? Did I do a good thing? Maybe? Gengar, whether you have the right to break the curse or not, I will now render my judgment. Here we go. The curse. Dot, dot, dot could not be lifted. Well, hmm. I wonder if I failed or if it had to be that way. W wait It is most regrettable, but the curse on Gardevoir will last all eternity. But wait! Wait a minute! Oh, he powered through. That's good, right? Let me... Let me say something. It's true. I abandoned Gardevoir and ran. I was afraid that the curse would fall on me. I had to get away, no matter what. That's what I thought. It didn't take long for me to forget about the curse and about Gardevoir. Many long years passed, but Gardevoir, she never forgot about me. One night, in Riz's dream, Gardevoir said this, that she considered me an irreplaceable friend that she still believed we would meet again. Gardevoir kept thinking about someone like me. But I... How selfish I was. I lived carefree all this time. I realize now how selfish I was. It's not just Gardevoir. Team the best put up with my selfishness and brought me here. Team the best. I finally know what I was missing what I lacked. It was something for the others. A sense of gratitude. There we go. Uh, Gengar, I think you did it. The log bearing the curse. It has opened. Yes, yes, good. Ah, oh, Gardevoir. G Gardevoir. And Ninetales, yeah. It worked, Gengar. Ninetales? But... I don't know what you're saying. The curse has been broken. I cast my curse, enraged at your twisted heart. When your heart gained what it had been missing, the curse was shattered. The final key to break the curse was your sense of gratitude. Then, Gardevoir? You may be reassured. Gardevoir has returned. She will soon awaken. However, that you were her partner in the past. Gardevoir will have no recollection of that. That's kind of sad, but that doesn't matter. Gardevoir is back. That's enough for me. Oh, good for Gengar, then. Good for Gengar. Thank you so much. My curse has been lifted. You did this for me, even though I had never met you before. Oh, sad. I have no idea how to thank you. From the bottom of my heart, 
Thank you so very much for saving me. Aww. Good for you, Gardevoir. <laughs> hey, Riz. Thanks for getting me through this. This is my thanks. Riz received the promised mobile scarf. Hmm, which I could find in a dungeon. But okay. Ad <laughs> Adios. Adios, amigo. Oh, wait, please. What is it now? Your name. Please, what is your name? Ke the name's Gengar. Glad to meet you. My name is Gardevoir. I am also glad to meet you. Oh, good. We reunited them, kind of, sorta. We would like to save. So glad for cutscenes! Yes! Ah! Love cutscenes. Okay. I mean, you know, like, in moderation, but that was definitely worth having a cutscene for. Um, but I want to just make sure, I want to see if he's out here, I want to talk to him, see if he has anything to say, and then we'll wrap it up. So, let me see if I can find him in thought, we'll just skip right to it. Well, I'm not finding Team Meanies anywhere, not, you know, Gengar, Metacham, or Ekans, but Gardevoir's here. I've done a lot of thinking. I would like to join Team The Best and help on rescues. Oh, cool. Please, may I become a member? Sure! Thank you. I promise to do my best for the team. Gardevoir became the rescue team's newest member. Yeah. Alright. Nickname to Gardevoir? No. Okay, cool. Well, he's in a lot today, so high five! Psh. Yeah. So with all that, thanks for watching! I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, of course, feel free to leave a like, comment, and if you're new, even subscribe. It means a lot, it really helps me out, and I would love to have you guys. So, until <laughs> next time for my next video. Until then, take care. Cue outro, go!